All right, with this West 2 Facebook Live update, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Madolfi. Hope you guys are having a, a super Tuesday. It, is a beaut it was, a, was a beautiful day out there in many places. However, there were also pockets of some rain, especially along the coast. We're going to break that down, show you where the showers are right now, and what to expect going forward, because I'm telling you, the heat, the heat is going to be building now as we head through the next couple of days. So if you like the 90-degree heat, I think you're going to like that weekend forecast. We'll break that down here for you in just a minute. Nancy Cruz and Anita Lawless are in the house. Tina O'Redding, good to have you right there. Nancy Cruz Garcia, Laura McQuilkin, good group already. You guys are killing it. 33 live viewers right now and growing. Kevin Conrad, Angela Edmund Walters, uh, all in the house tonight. Fran J. Hayes, Texas. Don't mess with Texas, right, Anita? Uh, Franny and Laura, good evening to you, she says. Good evening to you guys as well. All right, let's switch it on over, show you what is going on. When we take a look at uh, the Water Vapor Channel, Lulu Ferry and Gary Hicks and Debbie Cantor, good to have you guys. You can see there's an up below along the west coast of, uh, of Florida, a little disturbance there through the Ohio Valley, and another disturbance now pulling just south of Halifax. Brian Keller's in the house. Uh, let's see, it was too cold this morning. Laura, it is not going to be as cold, though, uh, tomorrow morning. So hang in there. Mm -hmm. There you go, Laura. That is correct. You guys are going to be warming up as well. Now, uh, this big storm system out here may likely create a severe weather risk going forward. The fish is in the house. Brittany, hope you had a good day. Hi back at you, by the way, as you can see. Well, an area of low pressure through the upper Midwest and a very large and powerful storm system again along the West Coast over near Florida. John Hansen, JoJo Lovejoy is in the house. Good to have each and every one of you in here. You see a little moisture convergence there right along the coast beginning to lift more uh, towards the north. We take a look at the radar and you can see overall trends here indicating the northward progression of tonight's shower. So we'll keep an eye on that. Dina, uh, Brian's going minus 10 in Yakutsk. Uh, Gerald Ellett is in the house. Gerald, good to have you right there. So uh, most of the rain is winding down. We'll keep an eye though right here on Flagler County. There's a few showers maybe approaching Flagler Beach, Palm Coast, and over towards Marineland. John Kiley and uh, the fish. Me and my dad is going to go. No, Brendy, I am envious of you. Enjoy the game. Take some pictures. And please uh, DM me a few of those, would you? All right, temperatures outside right now. Middle 60s up north, lower 60s down south. We take a look at the dew points. Yesterday, they were in the 20s and 30s. Now, they've jumped up to the 50s and the 60s. Not terrible, but certainly a big big uh, jump up from uh, last night. Eddie, Eddie Rodas. Eddie, where you been, big dog? How's the family doing? The little guy's getting big, I bet. Uh, Nathaniel Story. Good to have you right there on the inside of New York City for the first week of April. Uh, Debs, uh, we're, we're going to be watching that. So, uh, Chep, when are you leaving? You're leaving this weekend or leaving next week? Uh, the storm on the West Coast should be gone by April, by the way. Uh, but there will likely be more behind it. Uh, let's see here. Eddie, good to have you in the house, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Shelly Ann, shells looking, looking spiff and buff there. Gail Copeland Duncan, Butchie, uh, Frank Butchie Pennsylvania in the house. Frankie, Francesco, good to have you there. The oranges are good. I've got so many new blooms, by the way. Yeah, I got to show you a picture of that there, Eddie. Thank you. Uh, here's Futurecast. Notice a little bit of fog towards daybreak. There's 3.30, 4.30 in the morning. There's 8. And you can see just a little bit of fog over there in, in uh, Marion and Northern Sumter County. So we'll watch that, even the Jason Lake County. So we'll watch that. Anyway, Vanessa Kilo, we come with. Look at the whole family's in the house tonight. Loving that. Eddie Rodas. Yep, he's in here. So there we go. Haley Riggs right back at you. Look at the guys and gals in there. All right, let's, uh, let's spring forward here to tomorrow morning. There you go, 54 in Oak County. Uh, Shells, I had... Uh, I had uh, some sausages with some ziti. It was fantastic. Thank you for asking. What did you have, by the way? Uh, Tara Lynn Toodle. And the weather is going to be quite warm for your uh, beach time here this week. 
Bring the rain, says Laura. Great to see you, Cam. Alex and Eric did great for you. Excellent. Yep, we got a good group here. Got a good team. Love my guys and gals. No doubt about that. All right. Uh, there it is. There's Wednesday. There's Thursday. And there's Friday. Getting hot for the South Southwest wind. Look at those red arrows by Friday. Oh, the Kamala. It's great to see you too, Vanessa. Thank you for always coming in and, and saying hi. Here's a look now at Futurecast here for uh, tomorrow. Not bad. You know, miles are picking up. Uh, she breeze. I don't think we'll have any rain, but well, that's what it's trying to do. In fact, you take a look at uh, what it wants to do for tomorrow. <laughs> There's no rain there, so that's good. Uh, bring the rain. Uh, got, uh, just got home from work. <whistles> 10 to 7. There you go, TLT. Good to have you there, girl. Thanks for popping in. Yes, indeed. A good group in here. All right, temps tomorrow looking like this, folks. Here we go. Uh, 70s along the coast. 80 to 85, back through the interior. There you have it. There you have it. Not a bad day. Those temperatures aren't that bad, right? Uh, fire danger index tomorrow is going to be on the moderate side in Orange, Osceola, Sumter, and Flagler counties. So there you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Boat and Beach forecast. We've got a lot of spring breakers here in town, so we do want to take care of them. Uh, winds tomorrow southeast, 5 to 15. Water temperatures are a little bit chilly uh, folks, for our spring breakers there. Anita Lawless, my person who lives in Florida. We have a chat discussion tonight at 8. Central Time, shout out to Professor C. Willis. There you go, Annie. Annie, what are you majoring in again? Does it, did it have to do with uh, uh, the health industry? I, th I think you were going for nursing degree, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Laurie Ann, let's keep it cool, Tony. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Um, Runner rip, rip current risk, temps at the beaches tomorrow. Going in the right direction, still might be a little bit cool in the middle, middle upper 70s. All right, other than that, we got other things going on. Golf forecast here, looking like this 62 in the morning, 83 by the afternoon. Uh, the attractions also looking fine and dandy, 67, 78, and 81. All right, let's take a look at the launch forecast here for Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. Uh, relativity terrain launch window from 10 to 1. Yeah, see, Tony's got a good memory. Uh, Diana, New Eureka, I'm doing well. How about you? Concerns, cumulus cloud rules there, and a 90% likelihood from a weather standpoint that, that we will be okay weather wise. All right, look at that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Boom! Big orange is big dome of high pressure overhead. That means swing. Temps going up 89, 90, and 91. Take a look now at the uh, extended range temperatures here through the 31st. Temperatures above average there. So get used to the warm temperatures once they get here. Phil Rath, half marathon, 7 a.m. Saturday morning in Claremont. Uh, clouds around. I think it's going to be a little warm. We'll be in the 60s, but I think you're going to be in good shape. If you don't mind uh, a little bit of humidity. There's Saturday front, kind of falling apart. But yeah, you know, may trigger, may trigger a few showers. We'll see. Models are at odds on that, Phil. So I want you to keep checking back in uh, with the effect of that front on Central Florida as we head into the weekend, especially for your race. Uh, it's going to be warm by the afternoon, upper 80s, low 90s. Rain chances running at about 20%. And here we go. There's your seven day. Up, 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 and away! 83, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. 83, 85, 89, 90, 91, 92, and then dropping back down to 89. There you go. And that's a, that's a warm stretch of days coming our way. We've already had, what, four, five 90 degree days this year. We'll have to double check that. Here's a look at the temperatures around the good old U.S. of A. Chile in New England, Chile in the upper Midwest and out west with that big storm system that we showed you. In fact, let me go right back to that. There you go, right there. Hold on. There we go. Uh, keep those emojis, those comments, and those shares. Please, if I can get you guys to share this Facebook Live feed, that would be absolutely phenomenal. All right, so let's go out west. Talk about a big storm. Ay, caramba. Muy frío. 
Lots of snow there. Look at that. Boom! Nevada, Cali, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, back towards Colorado, upper Midwest, north and south Dakota, back towards Minneapolis, getting in on that snow. A little shield of rain coming through St. Louis and Kentucky and Tennessee at this hour. Uh, but for us here locally, the only thing we have is a little pitter-patter of a few showers uh, up towards Flagler County. All right. And there it is, snow cover. Here we are in March. Still a decent amount of snow in New England. A real good amount of snow in the upper Midwest. And then once again, out west. All right, you know what time it is. It is time to take the Manolfi Learjet out. And we are going flying. Flying like an eagle. Good song. Uh, 25 in Nome. 11 below in Fort Ross. 18 below in Baker Lake. Aaron Craycraft is in the house. Good to have you there, young man. Three in Moosinee. 25 in Winnipeg. Uh, Chicago is at 46. Raleigh is at 56. Mobile is at 61. Atlanta, 71 degrees. Linda Crook is in the house. Good to have you there, Linda Lusky. Uh, Mexico City Airport, 79. Cancun, 75. Belize City, 81. Santo Domingo, 77. Panama City, 82. Caracas, 82. Bogota, 59. Paramaribo, uh, 79. Manaus, 84. La Paz, Bolivia, 52. Buenos Aires, 75. Punta Arenas coming in at 50. There's Cape Town, 63. Niamey, 86. Rabat, Morocco, 46. Oslo and London, 32 and 52, respectively. There's a look at Moscow, 39. Surgut, 27. Astana, 12. Bishkek, 32. Ooh! Woo, 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 woo. 27 below in Yakutsk. We're going cold again in eastern Siberia. Look at that. Booyah! Sapporo is at 50. Uh, Seoul, Korea is at 55. Hong Kong is, let's see, 90, 104 degrees warmer than Yakutsk. Coming in at 77 versus negative 27. There's Manila. Down towards Alice Springs, Auckland, and Christchurch. A little cooler air down under there uh, tonight across the southern reaches there of Australia and New Zealand. So there you have it. There you have it right there. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. There it is. All right, so back to the United States. Here locally, there it is. Few showers there along the coast. Let's go back up and investigate uh, this here in Orange County and Seminole County. That's ground clutter. Ignore that. This is real though. A few sprinkles there coming up into Flagler County. So we'll watch that. No, nothing big, nothing major. Not uh, too worried about that. And then for tonight, boom. There it is. 54 in Ocala. 55 in Wildwood. Sanford 58, Melbourne and Palm Bay coming in in the low 60s. Coming in in the low 60s. All right, we'll take a look now at Futurecast. There's Wednesday, there's Thursday, and there's Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. High lifts to the east. Winds pick up out of the southwest. It's a warm end to the work week. Tomorrow, sea breezes are there, but I, I find it very hard that we're going to have any showers from that. Comfortable, comfortable weather there. Tomorrow afternoon, 70s at the beaches, low 80s back in through the interior. Now, the bigger developing story is this warm weather. As this ridge does continue to build in Thursday, Friday, on into the upcoming weekend, that is going to force our temperatures to climb. Uh, hope to fill the pool tomorrow. James Donnelly, Chris Pierce, David Mayer, all in the house. Good to have you guys uh, in here tonight. Appreciate you popping in and, and saying hi on this uh on this uh, busy Tuesday night. Busy, busy's good though. All right, I'm going to end it here with a look at the long. No, actually, two graphics to go. Uh, through March 31st, almost April the 1st, it does look like the temperatures are going to stay above normal. Reese Stewart, good to have you in the house there, young man. Appreciate you as well popping on in. Here's a look at that seven-day forecast, and we're going to end it on this here for for you fine young folks. Oh, well, there it is. Wednesday, 83. Thursday, coming in at 85. Friday, 89. Saturday, 90. Sunday, 91. Again, that front's kind of washing out, approaching us. Um, 
right around 90 degrees, 20 percent chance for a few showers. Monday even hotter at 92, and then Tuesday falling back into the upper 80s. All right, gang, I'm going to rock and roll. I'll be back tonight at 10 on the CW18 and again at 11 on West 2 News and right back here tomorrow night on Facebook Live right around 8. Have a wonderful, wonderful night, and as always, I do appreciate you guys popping in and saying hi.